Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. Uh, there's that beautiful quote from a Shakespeare play that says, if food be the music of love, then play on. And I think that fits this segment for our Valentine's Day edition. With me, if you saw on the wide shot, I have Tacoma, Symphony Tacoma. And Symphony Tacoma is, uh, oh, one of my favorites for many, many reasons. Uh, but today we are here to find out many things about them, but also to welcome uh, their new executive director. And this is the first executive director in my 10 years of being in this studio that has actually gotten a hold of me and asked to come on the show. So that's gonna tell you something about the uh, sharpness of this individual. So please join me in welcoming uh, Karina Barn. Well, welcome, my dear. Thank you, thank you for having us. Oh, it's good to have all of you, but especially you, my dear. Thank you for being persistent, <laughs> sharp, and amazing. All the things we would expect from an executive director for Symphony Tacoma. And here you are. You have some lovely people with you here on the couch. This beautiful woman who is poetry in motion when she conducts, also when she walks across the room. We love her. Sarah Ioannidis, you are the musical director of Symphony Tacoma. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Kind of a harried morning with the kids in the school and yeah. the commute. Yeah, but all those things. As the I 56 said, Valentine's cards. Thank you, thank you. All of those things that were like, oh, we're, we feel exhausted. Of course we feel exhausted. Uh, and of course, this handsome man, uh, Sven Ronin, you are the concert master for Symphony Tacoma. Welcome as well. Great to be here. Would you show us those beautiful socks you wore for us? Put your foot up. Put them up. There it is. There oh, sock okay. cam. Wow. Very, okay. Uh, Sarah says you have a lovely collection of socks. Oh. It's okay. the least we can expect from the concert master, <laughs> you know, don't you think? There you go. Well, let's get to know uh, Miss Karina. Uh, you are obviously, as I said, new. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm originally from the East Coast, uh, grew up in New Jersey, and then went to school uh, at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nice. But most recently, I was living down south in Texas. I was uh, working for the San Antonio Symphony for the past seven years. And now I'm so thrilled that from my apartment, I can see the beautiful sound and I can also see the mountain. Oh my gosh, boy, you just continue to kind of keep moving, don't you? My mother says I'm just trying to get farther and farther away from her. Well, no, that's not true, Mom. <laughs> it's not true, Mom. I know you're watching. You, we, we just want you to come out and visit us, Mom. Come on, Mom, that's what we want. So what are your impression of, uh, now that you've been here for six months, of our city and the arts community? I, I, within uh, two months of me moving here, Tacoma Creates was passed, so Oh, yes. That I think that speaks a lot about the Tacoma community. Um, I've been to almost all the arts organizations around here, and I've seen fabulous performances. Yeah. Boy, I bet you just were like, bonus, they passed this, and here I am. Absolutely. Yes. So this next question is uh, for Sarah and for Sven. Uh, the Pantages just went underwent a huge renovation. So how does it feel to have an orchestra perform in the new theater, Sarah? Well, it, it, it's wonderful to walk into the building. You know, it's a really classy place. Yes. Uh, and, and what an incredible historic building it is. So, so we're really lucky to have, first and foremost, this, this amazing facility. But now we're about to have a shell, a new shell installed for this concert. And that's going to already um, the sound has been transformed by just by the changes that, yes. that have been done Acoustics. inside the car carpet but now this is going to make it um, quadruple in terms of the effect of the sound on the on the audience and for the orchestra to be able to hear each other is going to be fantastic absolutely Sven what do you want to add to that oh I was there when the Pantages was refurbished the first time oh my gosh and so you it it made a huge difference in the quality of uh, downtown living here in Tacoma and I think this time is that 2.0 it's just yep. you know that much more um, I think for the audience I think what they'll enjoy is that the seating is much more comfortable it's easier access nicer uh, nicer lobby all of those things mean a happier audience means that we're happier. And what the audience doesn't see is that the backstage for us, the musicians, mm -hmm. is also nicer. The, the, uh, the acoustic, of course, that's improved already. And as Sarah was saying, it will get even better when we get our new shell in this oh, next, in this I next bit. I love that. So we're very pleased about it, very excited. And 
it's great to see how the Pantages has really been, uh, you know, an anchor for, for downtown living. What a gift. What a yeah. gift. I wish I could be inside of your ears so I could hear the before and after the way that you hear it. Because mm. I know that that would be just probably like from black and white TV to color. It would be yeah. so amazing to hear that difference. So the second half of the season, Sarah and Sven, kicks off on February 23rd, just right around the corner. Uh, first off, give us the name of the concert. And tell us about well, this is beyond the Silk Road. Yeah, oh, and as your jacket says. Yes, that's right. And uh, it's really a journey of um, exploration of the Persian culture mm -hmm. and uh, of Oriental travel. So we have Scheherazade, which is gorgeous fairy tales, the One Thousand One Nights, uh, which is you know a nice Valentine gift if you're looking for yes. something. Uh, this concert will give you. Um, so the Scheherazade is a, one of the most romantic, beautiful pieces featuring Sven, and he'll tell you more about that. But then also we have a tabla concerto performed by an Indian-born tabla performer, Sandeep Das. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in, it's extraordinary how many people have heard of tabla with an orchestra. It, it, it's going to be in an astounding effect, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. And then also Fire Mountain, which is our roots. It's from the heart of Mount Rainier. It was a piece that was commissioned for Symphony Tacoma, and it's about the melting glaciers. Um, we originally commissioned it a couple of years ago. We were supported by the National Endowment of the Arts. And this was a seven partner collaboration with the Glass Museum and the Hilltop Glass Artists and with our choir. But it's a hauntingly beautiful piece that was written about Tacoma and about the, the mountain. Oh. So Fire Mountain is on the program. Oh my gosh. With our choir as well. Hello. Mm -hmm. I love that. So Sven, tell us about your part in this. Well, Scheherazade is a, a one of the great staples of the concert repertoire, and it's got maybe the most famous violin solo for a concert master there is. It's uh, just a beautiful sort of uh, evocative Middle Eastern melody, you could say, seen through the eyes of the Russian romantic Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. And um, Scheherazade is a, a female character who's been married to a sultan, and, and let's just say, she, Love triumphs, but it is not easy. No, Shahrazad has got uh, got her work cut out she for does. her, and uh, so this little uh, melody that the the violin carries through every movement of this piece kind of tells the story of Shahrazad, sort of uh, as as a young innocent woman, as a somebody who has to keep the sultan entertained. Sometimes you hear it in a state of terror. Sometimes you hear it in a state of seductiveness. Every time that it shows up, it's the prequel to the next tale oh. that Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov is going to tell you in this story. I'm already there. My eyes are closed. I'm already there. <laughs> oh, I love this. So, as we said, as we opened the show, uh, today's Valentine's Day, and you have a special gift, you've said, for all of our Valentines out there. Tell us what it is. We do. We have a discount code. <gasps> I love discount codes. I live for those things. Well, we want to make sure um, that I, I told you this earlier, but I actually met my husband at the symphony. So we would That's like to right. we would like to encourage everyone to come to see if they can they can also meet a special someone there. So we have a discount code for anyone that's watching today. It is love ten. Um, and you can use it for our Scheherazade concert coming up next Saturday at Dial now. Dial now. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I love that. So l let's talk about uh, why, do, Sarah, why do you think that the symphony is a romantic date destination? Because, you know, from your point of view. Well, music is so powerful. We, we all know that. And um, it touches the heart and it connects us. Yes. It connects our community. It connect, connects us through sound waves. I mean, we know so much about the music's power to influence. Um, and I think the, the way that it resonates between us, the space between the people, mm. is something that I'm really interested in exploring, how those hearts and passions, and of course a lot of work, yes. goes into making music, and how it comes out and affects and touches people on the other side through a series of sound waves, but also energy waves. Yeah. I think it's so powerful, and, and if it touches my heart and our hearts, 
then it's going to touch yours too. It does. And there are some more opportunities uh, that's coming up this season for our hearts to be touched. Tell us about, we got some pictures of uh, Rainier, Sunrise, Saxophone Fusion, and Ode to Joy. And Sven, why don't you go, for, you are in Rainier, Sun. you are. I am, yes. I, um, Sarah is too, of course. Of but course, this but is this is a program, yeah. uh, our next program is going to be one of uh, a, a smaller chamber orchestra, and it's going to be uh, featuring uh, a, a number of soloists myself, but many of my wonderful colleagues are also going to be featured. Okay. So my colleague uh, Thane Lewis, who's the principal violist, and I are going to perform a double concerto called the Symphony Concertante by, uh, uh, by Mozart for violin and viola, mm -hmm. and as well a beautiful piece called Siegfried, Siegfried Idol by uh, Richard Wagner, and um, this is a a beautiful piece that uh, that Wagner wrote for his child, his mm, son, beautiful. for Christmas morning. Okay, I'm going to have you stop there because yeah. you give away too much. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, so um, in our last 30 seconds, I, I need to have you here for an hour. It's never enough time. Um, I know that we have a 2019-2020 lineup. When will you announce that? We have some teasers going up on our social media okay. pages in the next couple of days, but on February 25th, you can check us out. Mark your calendar. Right and then who do we need to thank real quickly? We have uh, our wonderful sponsors for this concert. We'd like to thank M Agency, Geo Engineers, Point Rustin, Multicare, and the Tacoma Philharmonic Endowment. You've just passed your first test as an executive director. <laughs> you got all of that out there in like five seconds. She's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Thank you, all three of you, for being here today. The roads are treacherous. This is a busy time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And for you, welcome to our grit city. Thank you. And I'll see you in the audience. How's that? When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs, the Destiny City Film Festival will be here to talk about their upcoming event. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.